called a vaping epidemic. Well, the man who took on big tobacco companies on behalf of Mississippi has turned his attention to vaping companies. A former state attorney general, Mike Moore, spoke only to 12 News' Gerald Harris about ways to address the issue. The use of vapes among school-aged children are becoming more addictive in some cases than tobacco, raising questions of health and safety. Former Mississippi Attorney General Mike Moore took on big tobacco companies and won a multi-billion dollar settlement. Now he's bringing attention to another epidemic. Little kids, 10th graders, 11th graders, 12th graders, even younger than that are getting addicted to it. And when we saw teen smoking go all the way down to less than 5%, for the first time in 20 years, we're seeing teen smoking go up. He believes it's directly related to vaping. People are selling Juul as it's safer. It's really not safer. Uh, and it's never been shown to be safer. The FDA just kind of let it be on the market. And I know this sounds funny, but they're experimenting with our kids. They're saying, hey, why don't y'all try this for a year or two and let's see how it works out. That's pretty scary because it's not working out very well. People have been faced with injuries from their vaping devices, including burned and lung disease. When people get a jewel pod, they take that little thing that they can actually, you know, stick and hide, do it in classrooms, and they suck as hard as they can and they fill their lungs. They're getting a whole lot more nicotine than ever they would get off a cigarette. And it's designed that way. It's designed to get people addicted as quickly as possible. Jewel CEO says he does not see large health risk at this time, but offers his regrets for teens hooked on the product. I'm sorry that their kids are using the product. And I have empathy for them for what they're going through, dealing with their kids, trying to go through any kind of difficulties, especially an addiction to a product that has nicotine in it. Jewel is currently under investigation by the FDA. Reporting in Pearl, Gerald Harris, 12 News.